everyone. Thanks for checking back in with me. I'm starting this video actually at the end of my day today. Um, today was one of those days that it's almost um, a burden that I'm on prep because I could have started drinking at noon. That sounds really bad, but I really could have started drinking at noon today. Ugh, I just can't even handle stuff sometimes, you know? Everybody has those freaking days. Well, today was my day. Today was my day. I couldn't motivate myself to do anything. I was so crabby. I just hate being crabby. I just don't like it. But I'm good now. I'm good now. Gym's done. Work's done. I'm on my way to pick up Miss Everly from my mom's. And then we're going to go home. And I actually... So this video... We are going to talk about um, portion size and measuring out your food because a lot of people have said to me that they don't measure out their food or they're going to start measuring out their food. And I, when I, before I left for work today and I was prepping my meals, I decided that I was going to kind of, I guess I started my video in the early part of the day, but it's going to be my fill in here. And I am going to show you what, like when I measure out my food, how much or actually how little it actually is. It's crazy when you think like, okay, I'm eating three ounces of something or four ounces of something and you think you're eating it and when actuality you're probably eating more, sometimes double and you don't realize it until you actually measure out your food. I mean, some people are like, oh no, like I'm, I'm not going to do that. Or, you know, if you're really trying to focus on losing weight, measuring out your food and weighing your food is going to be your main number one thing because that is the number one reason why people overeat is because they think that they're eating what they should be eating. But you're actually eating, like, like I said, you could be eating double you could be eating I mean especially when it comes to condiments I'm not kidding you I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you shortly you're going to see what a measured out amount actually is it's like enough to like lick off my pinky I mean come on for real now it sucks it sucks when you like actually see it because then you're like well shit so here is a little bit of my meal. What was my meal today? Meal two, three. This was meal three. So check this out. And then I want you guys, I challenge you guys, go get a food scale. They're very inexpensive. And just weigh out your food or just be conscious of um, actual serving size. Like you'll see what I use, my reduced sugar ketchup what the measured out size, what the measured out amount actually is. And now that's reduced sugar. That has like one carb and like one gram of sugar. Regular ketchup, flip the back of your ketchup bottle over, measure it out, and then you'll see how much you're only supposed to be having and how much sugar is in that little amount. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's really eye-opening. And I really want you guys to try that. Or find something that you know you use a lot of. I know a lot of people use a lot of creamer in their coffee in the morning. So measure out that two tablespoon serving and see what it actually is. It's crazy. It's really going to show you how much we all are just used to eating more than what is actually recommended for us. So here's my meal three today, and then we're gonna kind of recap and talk a little bit after you guys see this. Okay, I get asked a lot on how I cook my chicken. This is my favorite way to do it. I just saute it in the pan with a little bit of olive oil and seasoning. These are my two favorites, garlic and herb by McCormick, salt free, and this one is, it's called This Little Goat. It's very, very good. This is my three ounces of my veggie, three ounces of meat. I'm adding my one ounce of cheese to the mix. Make it ooey gooey and cheesy. 
Yum yum, mozzarella is my go-to right now. And now I'm going to zero out my scale, so I'm gonna measure out my condiments. This is my reduced sugar, and I'm going to make sure I only measure out the 16 grams that it says, so you guys can see how much 16 grams actually is. It's actually very eye-opening, and it kinda sucks that this is legit the only amount of, like, I guess, toppings that you could use oh and yep too much okay and i'm anal so we're gonna make this 16 grams excuse me while i stick my finger in my food the next thing i'm gonna measure out is five grams of mustard i'm measuring out for the sake of this video but usually i just squirt that shit on everything i love mustard i go through about a bottle a week along with a jar of pickles so this little amount is not realistic for me i cover my shit in mustard Now I eat my stuff in a super small container because I like to make myself think that I'm eating more along with a baby fork it makes me eat slow. Okay, so isn't that crazy how little amount of food when you measure something out actually can be? That's why when most bodybuilders, bikini competitors, figure, fitness, whatever, most of us when we start prep are like super cranky and super crabby and it's because we go from eating more to eating that little amount and until our bodies adapt to it, same thing with anybody, same thing with anybody trying to change like the way they eat and how much they eat, once your body adapts, you'll be fine. Like me, I'm used to eating that. I'm full, honestly. Like I eat four times a day and that's enough for me and I'm satisfied. Until your body adapts to that though, remember that it's going to, it's gonna take time. It's gonna get, take time to get used to it. So give your body like a week, two week, three week. I'm telling you, you'll get used to it and you'll be like, holy crap, how was I eating that much before? Because I can't eat that much now. So I promise you, Give it a try, challenge yourself, weigh your food out, and yeah, you will definitely see a difference. I mean, I can't even tell you. Like, the second my body adapts to eating the smaller portions, I feel so much better, and prep just from then on out goes so easy. I mean, shit, guys, look, I'm like six weeks out, and I already have like diet face. This is. Where is the rest of this going to go? This is not a good look. Especially, yeah. Not a good look. But I'm going to go make my fourth meal now and then I'm going to chill out. So, let's get her done. best mug ever. I am a friends fanatic, people. Friends fanatic. Favorite part, burnt cheese. Mmm. So good. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So I showed you guys this seasoning yesterday and today. It's called This Little Goat Went to Wisconsin. I mean, the other ones say like This Little Goat Went to India, This Little Goat Went to wherever the hell he went. But this one went to Wisconsin. 
and it's cheese flavored spice mix and I found it at Mariano's it has nothing in it which is great and this seriously tastes like what does it taste like like macaroni cheese like the cheese from macaroni oh oh there she is oh and by the way check out this shirt my head says gym but my heart says tacos best gift I've ever gotten Miss Gina herself gave it to me I love it her and I love tacos I can eat tacos every freaking day of my life so if any of you out there have a great taco recipe please share it with me because I swear I have like Mexican in me because I can eat that shit all day love Mexican food it's my jam that's actually like my number one thing I want to eat when I'm done off of prep oh, wait a second can't forget this girl shit is the bomb diggity all right here we go Mm. Now I know that we just went over serving size, but it's okay when Walden Farms has nothing. I don't know how they do it, but they do it. Look at, I have their strawberry syrup. We have their caramel syrup. We also have their ketchup. What else do we have in here? Oh. We have their blueberry syrup and their Italian sun-dried tomato and we had the blue cheese one but I'm pretty sure I threw that out yesterday okay so now it's time to go sit down and relax okay guys I am going to relax for the rest of the night so I will catch you guys in the next video thanks again for checking in Hit that like button, subscribe, and comment below on anything else you want me to talk about. See you guys next time.